Welcome to Pickleball Journey. Today we are sharing a drill that you can do to beat bangers. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get right into this drill where um, what we're doing here, we're working on uh, seeing what type of balls to let go when you're playing against bangers. So Elisha's at the net. Uh, he's gonna be uh, working with the partner, so you're, you're gonna need a partner for this drill. That'll be me. And what, what he's trying to do is he's trying to gauge certain spots in the court uh, where the opponent's hitting to see if he should let the ball go. So we're gonna start here. Uh, this first dot, anytime I'm hitting from this dot, Elisha's gonna let it go. Regardless of how fast it is, how slow it is, he's still gonna let it go because again, this drill is just to see where the balls are landing. Too often, uh, people just play in rec play and you don't wanna let a ball go in rec play to see, hey, is it gonna be just out or not? You always wanna hit that. So this is to give you a good idea um, where the balls are landing. So let's, let's start right in with this. Come back here. I'm banging, I'm up here, oh, wow. he's letting it go. I'm at the dot here. Yep. So as soon as I like, so we talked about in our last video, neutralizing that bang to bring him in. If he bangs that next ball, I'm letting it go to see where it goes. Here yeah. we go. Oh, that's too good. Good drive. So I'm leaving it a little high. Ah, I'm gonna leave that one go. Nice. Just too good of a okay. drive there. So note there again. This is just to to get a good idea. This is good practice drill yeah. where I hit those last couple. Would you say, uh, you know, six inches to a yeah. foot over the net? Yeah. Not super hard. And I'm back here. So well, and, I, and I'm observing that he's also. I'm also leaving the ball a little higher for his contact. Yeah. If I see him get a little bit lower below the waist at contact, then I'm maybe gonna let it go more often. Yeah. But it's kind of nice to see. Okay, what it, what is the reaction of the ball based on what I'm seeing with him? So where is it bouncing in proportion to what I'm seeing? So even if it drops in, I'm making those ana that analysis in my brain, and, and yeah. I can use it right. So now, now we're gonna move it just a couple feet up. Again, because this, this makes a difference when you're playing against a banger, where they hit from, yeah. uh, makes a difference if the ball's gonna stay in or not. There we go. There we go, I'm right yeah. at the dot, he let that go. Yeah, especially since you're sitting right around his knees, I'm totally letting that one go. Yeah. Ooh, that was close, good shot though. Yeah. Got some good tops on that one. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Got the net. Here we go. Yep, a little long. There you go. So on That's that great. first one, he got in a little bit, but it was high. I left that ball hot. So I'm yeah. definitely hitting that one. He's getting down on it. But if I can get that low, he gets in that dot, I'm letting it go. Here we go, let's go again. Oh, oh that one I'm leaving. That one's gone, it's right? Going out. So yeah, when he's halfway up like that and you, and he's hitting like at his knees are lower, leave that ball go nine times out yeah. of 10, that ball's going out. Right, and, and, and that's the thing is that we're not saying that they can't make that shot. Yeah. You, you need to watch for how fast they're hitting, mm -hmm. how close to the net it's going, yep. and make a decision. But this is really gonna help you uh, determine if you should hit it because you're seeing, okay, this ball is landing in and he's standing here, or this ball is going way out and he's standing here. Yeah, and not just to observe the ones that go out, but to observe the ones, the ones that, that go in as well. Yeah, so love it. you even if you do this drill or you you play like this in rec play, if you watch and see where it goes, even if it goes in, you can now see, hey, they just hit that ball in from the height of the ball or where they were at the speed that they hit it. Now, next time you see that, you're not going to let that go. Love it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, make sure you stay out of the kitchen, unlike Elisha, but hop into the kitchen for their awesome curated content on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, they've got it all.